Hi boys and girls, it's me, and we're down in the lair. Hey, I hope everybody had a great holiday, and uh, we're going to finally get the, into 2024 very, very soon, so we can just say goodbye to 2023 and all the sorrowful woes that came with it. Um, so, I'm making this video because I want to have a little fun, uh, get a video in before the end of the year. And I figure I'd show you some things that I found in a tube sort. I bought a bunch of tubes about a month or so ago, and uh, I found some interesting things again. So I figure I'll have a little fun video uh, to start out or finish the end of the year, and uh, very soon we'll get into 2024. But uh, so let me get started. All right, the first item we have here is a radio-related item, and there it is. A, I don't know, what is this? What is this, churned for easier spreading? I guess maybe this was margarine or butter? I don't know. What's it saying? Oh, no, Skippy! This is probably a very old Skippy peanut butter jar. But it looks like it's full of, looks like resistors. So this was the only radio related item that I've found up to date so far. All right, now next, I'm gonna put this down here and I think most of you probably know this, but I think people that are maybe less than 25 years old that are watching this won't. Okay, let me get a, see if I can get a little bit closer shot here. There we go. All right, care to guess? All right. If you said that these were for a fountain pen, you'd be correct. Now, I remember when I was a kid, I used to still see fountain pens around, and they had ink that you could buy in a jar or whatever. But these look like they're replaceable fountain pen tips. So these were all loose in a box. So, uh, again, not a radio-related item, and, you know, this is what happens when you're buying tubes from, I, I would say, I'm saying this with a, a, a number, just respectfully, this was a hoarder and a tinkerer, and not a radio or TV repair person. Alright, so, I'm, I'm going through this one box, and as I'm going through it, all of a sudden I see something, and it looked like it had some writing on it, and it was covered with you know, leaves and dirt and stuff like that. And I find this. Smile when you say that. You flip it over. And it says smile. It's kind of the camera isn't picking it up, but it says smile. And hold it away from the camera a little bit. Maybe I can back this out. Whoop, wrong way. It says smile. It's Christmas in a mirror. So I guess you look in the mirror and then you smile at yourself. <laughs> you know, this is, mind you, this is in a box of tubes. Okay, next. Found this. This was kind of interesting. I haven't seen one of these now. Let me, let me zoom this in a little bit. For all you Dodge truck fans there, you know exactly what that is. That's a badge for a Dodge Ram half-ton pickup. Um, I think this badge, and if you flip it over, it's got two studs on the back where things are missing. But it's kind of cute and decorative. I'm guessing maybe from a late 70s Dodge pickup. If you know, or if you're a Dodge person, which I am, I, I have limited knowledge about Mopar stuff, but um, maybe you could put it in the comments what, what uh, your trucks that that would go on, just for grins and giggles. So, 100 custom RAM. Oh yeah, we're getting a little bit of everything here. We even got some, some toy cars here. This looks like some kind of cab over big rig. I can't see what it says on the bottom here. See, this is not, I gotta back this out because it's not Picking it up. Whoop. Let me 
can get the get better light on there. Oh, I still can't read it, but well, it's cute. A little cab over pickup, and then we have the Bandit style Trans Am, but it says Formula on the side. <laughs> now there were Firebird formulas. So this is not a Trans Am, although it's got a Trans Am bird on it. And for you Pontiac guys, you know that the formulas never had the bird on the hood unless you uh, did that after the fact. So that just was not a factory thing. So this is about the same age as I'd say the Knight Rider Trans Am. Probably modeled after about an 82 or so. Neat. Neat car. Oh, it's a Hot Wheels. It says Hot Wheels on the bomb there. So there you go. Okay, you unlocked the key to my heart. We've got three vintage keys. Is that cool? Let me get, let me get a really good close-up of that. There you go. So I found these and uh, I gave them to Mrs. RW because she likes this kind of vintage thing. So, yep. Also in a box of tubes. Yep. Also in another box of tubes, I found that. Shame I couldn't have a second one that I could say I have a nice pair of knockers here. Now this was rather intriguing. This is a piece of solid brass. And what I think it is, now there's threads on the top of this. Okay. It's a little bit cloudy. Let me bring that out a little bit. All right. But I think what happened is this may have attached. I was talking to Mr. RW about this, and we were trying to speculate what this was. But I think this attaches to like a pole. I, I, I remember uh, growing up Catholic, and then I'd go to church, and then when they sometimes put the candles out, this was attached to a long pole and then you would use this to snuff the candle out now it's not a bell it's kind of like shaped like a bell but there's no provision inside of this thing to have a knocker or a clanger to ring this bell but so it's just basically it's not a bell it's a snuffer that's what i would think that that is now last but not least i know what this is but i'm going to leave it up to you folks to tell me what it is. <laughs> and let me just lay that down. Now that whoop, went out of focus. There we go. That's perfect right there. That's obviously some sort of a key blank. So in the comments, what does it go to? Alright. So just uh, leave that in there and I think that'd be fun. I, I, I'd enjoy reading all the guesses. Also in the bottom of the box of tubes. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed that. So I just like to wish everybody uh, a very happy and healthy new year for 2024. And I'll catch up with you down the road. Hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye bye.